I recently helped a listener with what they described as a very fearful dog. In fact, this was the question. Why does my dog panic when I sneeze or even if I just burp? Listen to me carefully. The dog was rescued from a puppy mill. It was eight months old and in an ideal situation, puppies habituate to a variety of sounds emitted by people such as laughing, grunting, sneezing, burping, or coughing. I've dealt with this over the years an awful lot where dogs reacted to different sounds uh, coming from a human if they've not been exposed to it at early ages. She's taken this eight month old dog from this puppy mill and even though it's eight months old, it still go through its imprint stages, its juvenile stages. It never had that opportunity to go through them normally. So it's going through them now. That's feral. But these panic attacks that the dogs have is really detrimental to their overall well-being. That's why it's important, and what I recommended to her is to start taking this dog, this eight-month-old dog, and just assuming it's an eight-week-old puppy, and gradually using counter conditioning. And if you're not familiar with counter conditioning, it's just taking something that the dog may be fearful of and putting it into a positive situation. I'll give you an example. And I recommended this to her. And that may you may say, hey Warren, you're really eccentric. Maybe I am. I actually told her to to burp make a sound effects or a recording of, of her burping or other family members burping and when the dog's in a mellow situation to play it at a very low volume barely audible and the dog's not reacting and the dog's getting a lot of positive attention at that point maybe even a tree and after a couple of days maybe increase the volume a little bit and a little bit but always ending on a positive note with the uh, the dog thinking it just hit the the lottery and little by little that fear of that sound will now become a positive reaction. This poor dog at eight months old has never been exposed to any noises other than maybe being yelled at, squirted with water, other dogs barking, dogs in pain, dogs dying around him. God knows what this poor dog's been through. All of these experiences are new to him and fearful to him. Building his confidence up, building that self-esteem up, and I'm a stickler on that. Training's critical, socialization is important, but building up that confidence and that self-image is critical as well. So the bottom line is I gave her all this. I will get back to you guys in, in three or four weeks, let you know how the dog is doing. I know it's gonna do absolutely fine, but it was an interesting situation, an interesting call. How often do you get a call on the phone where, Warren, my dog panics when I sneeze, cough, or even burp. Don't miss the pet show or stay tuned or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I share a lot of new videos there. As a matter of fact, coming up in the not distant future, I'm gonna do a whole series on pet aerobics. I was the founder of it. We'll talk about that in the future. I'll more next time.